of uncertainty is brewing at Wajia County Governor's Office after the embattled former Governor Ambassador Mohammed Abdi Muhammad insisted that he still the bona fide office bearer citing an order by the Meru court to that effect. This as the newly sworn in Governor Ahmed Ali Mukhtar dismissing the court order as an exercise in futility that has been overtaken by events. Days after embattled the Wajia governor, Ambassador Mohammed Abdi Mohamud was hounded out of office through an impeachment and his deputy, Ahmed Ali Mukhtar, sworn in as the new governor, the leadership battle seems to have just begun. And today, both leaders separately convened the press briefing to insist that they are the bona fide office holders. Speaking at Delta House, impeached Governor Ambassador Mohammed Abdi Mohamud vowed to uphold an order by the Meru Quarter to continue executing his powers and functions as the governor of Wajia County. The import of this order is that I continue to be in office to execute the powers and functions of the governor of Wajia County as, as prescribed by law until the petition is heard and determined. Until the petition he filed is hard and determined. They are people who abide, uh, you know, by the law. And any outcome of the, you know, uh, the courts, I'm going to, to, to accept wholeheartedly. And especially this time, if it is going to be three bench judge, then uh, we have all the confidence in them. The case has been referred to the Chief Justice for the embannelling of a uh, of, 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 uh, bench. Whatever outcome, we'll abide by. The newly sworn in governor, Ahmed Ali Mukhtar, in a quick rejoinder termed the court orders time barred and that he was the incumbent. Until then, Wajia has a governor. There is no vacuum, and we are more than ready to work for the people of Wajia. We also want to appeal to the people of Wajia to accord the new administration all the necessary support so that the new governor can deliver services. The expectations are so high. We have not been doing very well. The fact that this move has defied all odds, with the elected members coming with one uh, united voice is an indication of the sovereign the people of Wajia County have undergone. Uh, no doubt that there, is, there was total breakdown of divorce services in regards to Wajia County. Flanked by a section of leaders from Wajia, the newly sworn in governor said he was in control and ready to serve the residents of Wajia. On the other hand, the embattled former governor vowed to execute his mandate by all means. We want to send a warning to the current governor that the people of Wajia expect nothing short of service delivery from you. So we are not going to engage in shenanigans of what we have been in the last three years. Ever will take similar action, what the former governor has done. If there's no service delivery, you will be removed from where you are. All we say is, it's a good day for devolution. Those who do not know and who have been hearing other noises, please we invite them to go to Wajia and uh, the had collapsed. Mohamud was impeached by MCS on grounds of gross violation of the Constitution and abuse of office, among other issues. Senate later upheld the MCS decision, sending the governor parking.